A gorgeous day awaits us here on a Wednesday, and it should be gorgeous through the rest of the weekend as we have started off on the fifth installment of the Spirit International, and some of the best talent is ready to go to work and try and make as many birdies as possible in a very fun and entertaining format. Well, we've been blessed with great weather and, as always, blessed with some great company here from our broadcast center above the 10th hole here at Whispering Pines. Um, we'll ask it alongside Mark Lash and Jeff Morton. Um, always a very exciting tournament. We are so pleased to be here at the Spirit International this year and glad that you could join us online for our web stream. Lots of coverage for you today all the way through the weekend. Probably about five to six hours of live golf coverage here from Whispering Pines. Mark, uh, it's good to women. see you again. It's been a long time since uh, the pin about in the middle of the green to the left. And that is Kylie Walker from Scotland on the tee. And there a look back from our 15th location. We'll see what she can do with this first shot on our webcast here today from the Spirit. Anything on the putting surface is a success. And just to the right, but with the putter in her hand. It was a very exciting round two today here at Whispering Pines in the 2009 Spirit International. The day started with Chinese Taipei four shots clear of the field after a huge opening round, record-setting round one yesterday with a lot of birdies and a lot more came today in round number two. At the end of the day, it was the United States pulling away with a three-shot lead going into round number two. They are at 25 under par, three shots clear of Chinese Taipei, who started slow but came back and made a charge. They will be in the final group tomorrow with the United States. Big story in the late afternoon, that play of the English team. They have been slow all week long. They made a lot of birdies on the front nine, which was their back nine of the day. They made a big charge. They will start tomorrow alone in third. On the American side, it's the young ladies play of Jennifer Johnson and Alexis Thompson. They were fantastic today, making birdies all over the course. They have played off of each other very well. They lead the ladies division by two shots. Chinese Taipei on the men's side, one shot clear of the Italian duo of Pavan and Montessero. And the big story today, the hole-in-one on 15 by Lucy Andre of France. Now three eagles between the French women in this competition. They have certainly made a big name for themselves here in Texas. Tomorrow looks to be a fantastic round here at Whispering Pines. The weather should still be very perfect. The Chinese Taipei and United States teams go out last. We will see them on our coverage, which starts tomorrow just a little bit after 9 o'clock Central Time. For all of us here in Texas, the third round should be very exciting yeah, tomorrow. We hope board. to see you here United for the States 2009. Six clear of Denmark and Korea, who both birdied the women did, birdied, or the men just did, birdied the 17th hole. They're playing the 18th. Chinese Taipei struggling today, just minus four in a birdie fest. And now seven shots out of the lead. And there's England, minus 25. And we mentioned about five teams now that realistically have a chance at winning this tournament going into tomorrow with Argentina, Colombia, Germany, Italy, and France. And, boy, guys, Italy tied for ninth thanks to that minus 21 score of the men right now. It's, it really is amazing what Matteo and Andre are doing. Champion with a score of 531. 45 under par, the United States of America, Jennifer Johnson, Alexis Thompson, Ben Martin, Jordan Speed. Captain is Paula Creamer. Assistant captain is Ali Jarrett. Um, congratulations to everybody on this stage. Uh, you had a fantastic week. And, and like I said in my speech the other night, we're all going to leave Whispering Pines as winners. And I think that you all represented your countries with class, um, with sportsmanship, and your integrity. was It was amazing out there. It was a lot of fun to watch. I definitely wanted to play, but team, you guys did great. Uh, got me a little nervous coming down the stretch, but um, I knew you guys could, could pull it off. And, and I had a lot of fun. This was I've always said, you know, playing for your country, representing your country, there's nothing better than that. And you guys represented it well. Um, I always get choked up talking about this, but um, I wish you all the best of luck. And um, God bless everybody. Thank you.
to each of the medal winners my hearty congratulations. Well, I was speaking with Sonny, I think he's, uh, I told him I'm, I've been around many, many years playing or even on the European tour and uh, Australia, whatever. But this one has been very, very special for him. The best place where I've been by like golf course facilities, friendship, welcome, everything was uh, more than 100%. And, uh, it's not because we won the main events, but because uh, it was really like this. It was a special, special place. And we're very happy yeah. to be Get uh, ready to sign off from our position up here, guys. Uh, one thing that you guys will both take away from this week, just something that stood out for you, not only the American victory, but just what we saw here in a fantastic week at Whispering Pines. Mark? Well, I, I am going right back to what I just said. And, and, and because if you look at everything that happened this week, the unbelievable talent of these young players. We saw some inconsistency because they were young, but when they had their flashes, it when they just get better and better. They are unbelievably talented. The thing I'll take away is what I take away from every spirit is that the future of golf is in very good shape. Five, uh, excuse me, six years ago in 2003 when Paula Cream was here as a player, he said, hey, this lady's got it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now she's back at captain. Uh, Denmark meddling for the first time ever. Just uh, the future of golf is in very good shape with all the great uh, – the spirit of the spirit is what I take away from here. <laughs> great storylines. 2011 cannot get here fast enough. Well, guys, I want to thank you for all of your help this week. It's been a real pleasure My bringing pleasure. this to everybody at home. Uh, a great event. Everybody here at Whispering Pines, the World uh, Health and Golf Association, they have been – Phenomenal to all of us in putting on a great event. Again, the United States take home the hardware on the international side. The women from the United States on the women's side. The Italians on the men's side. A fantastic week of weather. And it's uh, only going to get better as they go on to the closing ceremonies tonight. But uh, for now, keep in mind we will be streaming the medal presentation. But from our broadcast position up over the tent pole, for our entire web stream productions crew, for Jeff Morton and for Mark Lash, I'm Will Haskett. Thank you so much for staying with us this week. You've been watching the 2009 Spirit International Amateur Championship. So long.